day since a deadly workplace shooting near Katy, where a supervisor was gunned down by a disgruntled former employee. Mike Daywood was the service center manager at Night Transportation, but most importantly, he was a husband and a father. 34 years old and I'm a widow, a mother of a two-year-old little boy who will only know his father through pictures and videos that I've taken. Investigators believe that Daywood was the intended target. They said 65-year-old Marion Guy Williams went to the business on Wednesday and headed straight to him. Williams was fired two weeks ago. That was one of three violent workplace shootings in our area just in the last year. And with big companies announcing mass layoffs, worker safety is more of a concern than ever. Our Andy Sirota live tonight with the steps that companies can take to keep employees safe. Andy? Dominique, OSHA requires employers to maintain a safe workplace. Most employers are accustomed to having things like fire drills and other types of emergency drills on a periodic basis. But a local employment attorney that we talked to says employers need to start raising the bar. They need to start doing more in an effort to keep their employees safe. When Mary and Guy Williams, a disgruntled former employee, stormed into night transportation, hunted down his supervisor, shooting and killing him in cold blood, an employee stated he first fired a warning shot in the break room and heard Williams say, Y'all ruined my life. There's not one single profile of people who do these sorts of things. Kevin Troutman, a local employment attorney, says as we see more and more of these tragic incidents, how to prevent them and how to spot the warning signs need to become part of a company's routine in maintaining a safe workplace. He says it's more important than ever for them to include workplace violence as part of their emergency preparedness plans. Don't just talk about it. Employees should be trained at least twice a year. We need to evacuate if we can. If we can't evacuate, we need to find a place to hide. Uh, who's going to call 911? Uh, where do we go? Where do we meet if a situation like this happens? Troutman adds, while it might sound cliche, if you see or hear something, say something. If a coworker constantly says they feel like they've been wronged or they continually talk like they're a victim or verbally express deep-seated animosity and anger, don't be afraid to report that behavior to a supervisor. I'd like to see employers help employees get the idea that it is their responsibility to help maintain a safe workplace. And OSHA could fine an employer if they don't take reasonable steps toward maintaining a safe workplace. And that word reasonable is very subjective here and often depends on the type of industry you're talking about. Live near downtown tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Andy. We do want to let you know that a GoFundMe page has been set up to raise money for the family of Mike Daywood, the victim in the night transportation shooting. We have that link on our website at click2houston.com. You'll find it right there on the homepage.